Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I look a hot mess because I feel a hot mess. Oh my nose. I got like all this dry skin on my nose. I have COVID and it's horrible. This is the second time I got COVID since COVID hit. But yeah, so I'm off work. It's just me and Ez here. Eulalo spent Thanksgiving vacation with her dad and she was supposed to come home over the weekend, but I ended up testing positive for COVID on Saturday. So um, I was like, can she just stay there with you guys? Cause I have COVID. I don't want her to get it. But Eulalo's dad is going out of town for work. So I'm trying to work something out with my mom so my mom can get her to school to and from school so I don't have to be around her and uh yeah that's that's a whole thing <laughs> but anyways um I feel awful I've been doing nothing but sleep the last couple of days I've been waking up making sure as he's got something to eat and drink you know change because I've been putting pull-ups on him uh making sure he's got something on tv and then going right back to sleep because that I've just been so tired and I haven't been able to eat. I've lost, I think, five pounds. I weighed myself this morning. I'm 276 just because I haven't been able to eat. So I'm losing weight. My throat hurts. My head, I've had a killer headache that will not go away ever since I tested positive for COVID. I feel weak. My body feels weak. It, it's achy, like, I got all the symptoms. <sighs> yeah, so, I haven't been vlogging. I think I got two vlogs that I need to edit and put up from before Thanksgiving, but I haven't been vlogging because I've been sleeping. <laughs> um, I got all this phlegm in my throat. And every time I cough and like blow my nose and stuff, like, oh, it's so gross. And there's like blood mixed into it. It's crazy. My house is a mess. I just woke up. I got a little bit of energy. So what I'm going to try to do is um, do the dishes before I get too sleepy and have to pass out as he's upstairs sleeping. But I'm sure he'll be up soon. It's nine. But yeah. I put a Walmart order in yesterday and I got some ginger ale and a big old bag of oranges. I'm gonna juice some oranges and drink a cup of that this morning. All I've been doing is drinking ginger ale. Oh, my arm hurts from holding this phone. Look who's awake. As he's awake. Look at my liver of you guys. <laughs> I was only able to clean that much. I still have to clean off the stove and wash those dishes. But that was all I was able to clean. I have that stuff to get off the dryer. And then I gotta clean this. And then there's stuff on the floor. But I feel wiped out already and all I washed was that little bit of dishes. So I need to go lay down again I would like to get this liver picked up today too Ezzy come here look look outside Ooh, it's Christmas time <laughs> it's snowing You're not going outside? No. No? <laughs> nope. Oh, there's a kitty. Kitty? He's like, help me, it's cold out here. 
I can't let you in, kitty. I'm very allergic. Daddy. My mom can't let you in here. We got our first snow. Yeah. So, um, this is just gonna be a bad angle. Um, I'm like really miserable right now. <coughs> I'm super annoyed. As he's super bothering me. It's not his fault. He doesn't understand. I know, but. My head hurts so bad, and he just won't stop. I'm going to rag him on the house. It's just so loud. and I'm going to on the house. He won't get away from me, and I know it sounds horrible, but my head hurts. The lights make my head hurt. The noise makes my head hurt. My head just hurts all the time, and he's getting on my nerves. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. Oh, no. uh -uh. This really sucks. No, I'm not. I can't even like breathe to cry. Like I'm so I'm so congested. I can't even breathe out my nose. Oh. Hold on. I can't breathe. Yeah! Yeah! I still can't breathe. What? I'm about to. muster up all the energy that I have and get Ezzy ready and we're gonna go to the pharmacy to pick up medication because I call oh my god he just keeps throwing toys and making messes it's so loud does COVID make anxiety worse because I feel like it is We literally, he helped me clean the living room. He did, but now he's like messing it up all over again. And I'm like, I think I did too much. I cleaned the kitchen completely. The living room's clean. And now I'm just so tired. I'm so tired and my head hurts so bad. Like even this side of my chest is like hurting. I keep getting these like zaps in my head. It feels like electricity is like going through my brain, like this side of my body. I can't explain it. It's, it sounds ridiculous, but it's exactly how I'm feeling. Can you stop? Why? Just stop, please. Oh, God, it's my nose. But I called my doctor earlier. And she called me back. I talked to the nurse and then she called me back. And she is prescribing me um, pizza, some pizza, COVID pizza. medicine that I take for five days. It's ready. It's at the pharmacy. I just have to go pick it up. And she called in some other stuff for me. But it's not all covered by my insurance. It's going to cost like $47. And I'm just like, you know what? I need it. I don't feel like leaving the house. But I don't have anybody to go get this stuff for me. So I just have to go. I asked them if they delivered. And she, he said that they stopped doing that in June. I think I'm going to change my pharmacies. Because I don't really like that side of town anyway. I'm just so... I just want to lay down and go to sleep, but I can't. What the heck? 
like people don't they don't like COVID is already bad by itself but to have a toddler at home that you have to take care of too and you can't even take care of yourself is a lot so I haven't even showered yet today I haven't brushed my teeth he hasn't had a bath in like three days I need to give him a bath today I just I feel like the worst parent in the world but what do you do when you don't feel good and there's nobody around like you know I'm struggling with what to do with you Layla I don't want her to miss school because I already got in trouble my mom's canceling all her appointments so she can take her to school and pick her up but like I'm glad that she's helping but she's making me feel bad like that she has to cancel her appointments to take her to school like what am I supposed to do Ah, my nose. <sighs> oh, part of me wish I just would have went to the hospital. They would have admitted me or something because it just... relax and recover <laughs> anyways you hear my nose dead having a meltdown I just have to suck it up it's snowing outside <sighs> okay I'm done freaking out to go to the pharmacy and get this so I can start feeling better. Bye-bye. So I just got out of the shower. I was good and ready. I was putting our coats and our shoes on and my mom called and asked me if the medication was ready. So she's stopping by and getting it for me. We're not going to the store. He was all ready. He was putting his shoes and stuff on. Oh, God. I feel like I'm tripping. I just, like, busted out crying like like a big old boo-hoo baby. Like, my head is just not good like physically and mentally I'm not good I still need to eat today I don't know what else to say I'm just updating you guys my mom's going to get the meds and I'm just gonna lay here till she gets here. The TV's not even on as he's playing. And uh, <sighs> oh man. I know this video is dark and I apologize. I just can't take a lot of light right now. But my mom came and she dropped this stuff off. Oh, you guys, I feel, I can't even say on YouTube how I feel, what I feel like doing. It's bad. Medicine that they gave me. This Pax Paxlovid. 
take three tablets by about twice a day for five days as directed on the label. Ezzy, can you go get me some water? Water? Yes, please. You want a big one? Yeah, get me a big water bottle. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's in the fridge. In the fridge. I feel so, God, my head hurts so bad. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I'm just, my stomach hurts, my legs hurt, my head hurts. It's water, Ezzy. No, water. Never mind. I don't. I don't know if I should take this now or tomorrow morning. I feel like crying again. Oh God. I literally feel like I'm dying. Like. I know some people are probably watching and they're like, you big crybaby, but I feel horrible. I feel like really, really bad. Get off of the TV. It's going to fall on your head. Stop. Why are you climbing up there? I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> Somebody go get him. <laughs> as that is <sighs> that's real life though um i took my first dose of the covid medication about 15 minutes ago i drank it with lots of water i did eat a bowl of chicken noodle soup before i took it and i was feeling like i wanted to throw up um and now i don't feel like that so I'm guessing that sick feeling that I've been feeling all day was just me hungry, <laughs> being hungry. Um, but I gave Ezzy a melatonin. I know, don't judge me. It's 6.15 and he just fell asleep on the couch here. And I know, I know, but I just need it a calm environment, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I was very overwhelmed and like tripping. I 
felt dizzy and lightheaded right now. Um, but I'm really scared. I hope I'm gonna be okay. One of my worst like fears is something happening to me and like Esri being here by himself for how long before anybody realizes, you know, he's here and needs someone to come get him. I mean, like both my kids. Well, Yulela knows how to call for help. It's him that I worry about. Hang on one second. Yeah. So I, that's something I worry about. I feel like such a bad mom, but I was just... There's no excuses. Ezra's dad was mad at me because I was asking him for help. And he's like, you're the only person I know who can't watch their kids when they're sick. And it just made me feel like an even shittier mom. Because I was asking for help. But, I don't know. It's put me on the bad mom list, I guess. Why did I sit down? I'm about to shut the lights off. And I'm going to lay down and I'm going to put a Christmas movie on. And I have a feeling I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> I, I um read that. Well, not read. Well, I did read it. And the doctor told me that the COVID medication causes diarrhea. <laughs> she also gave me a prescription for a... um probiotic to take but she did say not to take it with the covid stuff so i'm assuming since i took the first dose like i could start the probiotic probably tomorrow morning or something but yeah i already like i don't feel better but like mentally i feel better because it's quiet right now and I could think. <coughs> My chest hurts though. But I think it's anxiety. It's just so hard to tell because anxiety makes it feel like there's so many other things happening with you. I hate taking new medications because you just never know. You never know how your body's going to react to it, you know? It scares me. All right. So, yeah. I think I'll end this vlog here, I think. I don't know. It's still early, but I feel like I'm just going to be chilling for a while. I might even fall asleep on the couch with this. Wish me luck.